It has a mean head shake, not like a tuna. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I mean a mean head shake. Hey, a barracuda catch, clean, and cook will be just as good as a tuna. <laughs> All we need. Barracuda sushi, though? Barracuda sushi. Trying to spin the logo real quick. Yep. Got color yet? Oh, it's got a tail bait. That's a tuna. Aww. A little black tail? I don't I think it's a little yellow. I think it's fighting hard enough to maybe be a be some type of sushi grade, you know? Look, it's getting heavy now. What two minutes? First pass. Let's what get this. Doing that? We're gonna put, put it on a cracker, crack dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna get with it. Fish just caught his first barracuda ever. We're definitely gonna eat that thing too if we can oh, convince yeah. Blake to let us put him in the ice box because oh, they stink. He's going back to Kentucky? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you say? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so now I guess it's time to explain where and what we're doing. So we, st we started this morning in Venice, Louisiana. It was so foggy, it was insane. We met Blake and Bailey at the marina at 6.30, you could not see 100 yards. Came out the mouth of the Mississippi, total fogged out. We're about 80 miles from land right now at these massive oil rigs, and we're trolling these deep diving lures. We've got mullet, we've got chunks, we've got Johnny jigs, we're fishing. We've already caught one nice yellowfin, one big barracuda, and we're just getting started.
This is my first Wahoo I've ever seen in person. Is that your first Wahoo? That's my first one. I'll put that on a cracker, dude. Let's go. Nice. Hey, we got a Wahoo, we got a Barracuda, we got a tuna, and we still got a whole day's left worth of fishing. What you got? I think I got a fish. A fish? A fish, so. Oh. Look at the helicopter. How many fish have you caught with a helicopter taken off of an oil rig? This would be the first one. Oh, and he had to take off straight away from us. Oh, now he's just sitting there. All right, we just ran about 20 miles. It's getting super rough offshore. Cap said, let's get in a little closer and go sword fishing. But then, like normal, you see a different circumstance. He said, let's try to troll around this rig real quick. Hooked up immediately. Immediately. I didn't even get a chance to turn on my GoPro. Bring this stuff down to sea. Jump it. Inhale the sea. I think it's a tuna. Ghost on a Oreo. A big one? <laughs> Bailey, get her one of those butts, please. Just ask her if she wanted one of you. Bailey's still trying to wake up. Yeah. Bailey, they're sound asleep. <laughs> Kelly's like, she's not sleeping. I'm like, she's sound asleep. I literally went to her face and I'm like, you sleeping? And she didn't sleeping even budge. Job. I think it's like a 30, kind of like a 30 pounder. It's going to be a good one if it's a Wahoo. It's not really feeling like a, like a tuna. No, no, no. Don't think about it. It's Don't definitely it. a Wahoo. Dude, Tuna? I'm thinking a Wahoo, and it is going to be I'm a nice solid one, <laughs> I'd have to say. Come on, boy. How was your nap, though? Fantastic. I just woke up and ate some Oreos. <laughs> I've been around her too. Oreo. I've been around her too much to know that when she sleeps, she can sleep in a hurricane. Such a serious look on your face right now. Just short pumps, gaining. Trying to get him to I the don't phone. know if I've ever seen you so focused. Oh, that thing has one out. Yeah, it did. Running again? No. No, it's just. It's like pulling up a horizontal fish. Like we were saying earlier, if it was a tuna, I feel like it would have taken some big runs down. Yeah, we would be seeing a good tail beat. Oh. All right, I'm starting to break a sweat. Starting to break a sweat? Yeah, I'm pretty much wearing a trash bag right now. All right, we got color. Shine. So for those of y'all that guessed who I was fishing with in my last video, and there was a bunch of them, you got pretty famous. Appreciate it. He does some amazing cooking. He's got like 2.4 million followers on TikTok. Definitely check it out. I'll have the link to his TikTok in the description below. We're going to hydrate. <laughs> of course, it's not my favorite, but it's going to work. All right, you guys, check today. out. the Y'all don't see me drink very much on my channel. I have nothing against it. We're all grown men here. If you want to drink, you can drink. Check this thing out he's got right here. So while we wait, we hydrate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll do it with a Dr. Pepper. I want to see that. Oh yeah, we got to do the Dr. Pepper. Get yeah. me a cherry Coke out of there. I'll, I'll shotgun one. What do you call it? What? This? Yeah. A beer cone? A beer cone. How do you do right, it? You so, hold your thumb uh, on it? So it, sure it works. So it, it's a regular a koozie. It's a koozie, like this, and then when you want to follow it, it comes out, it reconnects, you pull it out, you hold it, and then you take your drink out, you fill it up, That's and then you calm it. Well, why don't you do it for me? You got to give us a full instructional video over here to your fans, though. 
So then you fill it up. I'm not calling eight it's cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna burp so bad. Great. While we wait, oh. we hydrate. <laughs> Ew. Let's get it, dude. Oh what that was? <laughs> <laughs> That's money. <laughs> hey. If you're interested in one of these, he yep. sells them on his TikTok. Yep. Go in the link. They They're there. pretty cool. Yep. I guarantee you that's the first time anybody's ever shotgunned or, or funnel cup a cherry coke. Kate stumbled and he can't even walk straight after that. He's like, whoa! I got a sugar cherry rush. Coke got to me. What do we got? So I'm an amber tech. <laughs> What's its scientific name? Reefius Donkeyus. Bailey. <laughs> you guys, we're fishing two days after the full moon and the fishing's terrible, but we do have one really big, beautiful wahoo, a nice yellowfin tuna. We use the barracuda for bait, which I'm going to ask for my refund for that situation because now I don't have any food to eat, but yeah. So, I mean, what? Seriously. So, so we just came in a little bit shallow and we're dropping the Johnny jigs and I oh. just figured out he was hooked. Oh. He just figured out he's hooked. <laughs> that Beyond Braid's gonna get stretched. I think a shark just ate it. No, don't say that. Don't give us that sure it just got ate by a shark. Big old bird the turd hustler of the sea. Yeah, oh. shark just ate him. Oh. Shark number two for the day. That's not what he had on, but that's probably what the shark ate. What happened? Like a shark got me. Dang. <laughs> bad, bad deal. Yep. We're marking though. Come on, babe, let's see what you got. Fast jig and got it done. Yeah, it was Oh, look at her put her back into it. Put your back into it. It's Hustling for it. Hustling. It's, it's a, a race. race. Me or the shark? Yeah, the sharks are looking. They gotta be. They're, they're probably just now getting out of Yeah, there. they're licking their lips right now. <laughs> Stop it! They're like, just they're go ahead and reel it a little farther. <laughs> we like our food tired before we eat it. You better start reeling. You got it. Yeah, don't slow down. You got it. All right, drop it down. You got something? Yeah. Yellow Jack. Really? She got a tuna. What? Yeah, of some kind. Bonita or something. It's a bonita or a tuna of some species. Do we need to gas it? Oh no, don't let it go back down. The sharks will definitely get it. The turd hustlers. The turd hustlers are out. Yeah, it looks like a bobo. In full force. Came over to catch a Catch and cook on a, like a on a bonita. Well, that's good chunking bait. Got it. That's a high quality grade A sashimi. That is good. Let's try it. Delicacy. One thing is a fact we are going to eat good tonight. And Bailey's got a little Nutria rat that she said we can catch clean and cook too. So win win. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Should, Yeah, something like that. Hey, I beat the sharks. You did. I beat them. You did good. Show us your muscles. <laughs> They're a little shaky right now. <laughs> it's an emerald swirly back. Ooh, new species. These are super rare off the coast of Florida, guys. Yeah. Great sashimi. Yeah. On ice he goes. Y'all ready to head to the hill? Oh, yeah. Come on. Kel, Dinner time. you ready to hit it or what? I'm ready to hit it. Time to go get hydrated. Hydrated, he said. <laughs> Bailey's going to take at least two more naps before we get in. She'll be good. Yep. That would be ready correct. To roll? Yes, sir. How far are we from home? Uh, we're about. 35 miles, but there's a little storm we're gonna go through on the way back. 
good thing we got them frog togs. Them frog they got them grungeons on, so they'll be wet, grungeons. but we'll be dry. Let me tell y'all about that ride in. You know the movie The Hangover when they roll in there and he's like, how about that ride in? <laughs> that was insane. This storm came out of nowhere, whipping at least 25 or 30. He had, how fast were we running? Uh, about 50. 50 miles an hour on this beast. This thing is insane. I might say it's a wee bit better than a Freeman. You never know. That thing is nice. What we got? Oh, that's your dinner tonight. Uh, I'm eating some fresh barracuda tonight. Y'all don't want the bonita, do you? No, you can use it for chum, right? Yep. Yep. That'll be bait. Why are you shivering, babe? Freezing. Cold front pushed in on us. A little wee -hoo. What about that, cracker dude? Cold, cold. Timmy, <laughs> Timmy said his pant leg came unzipped and was flapping. He's wet. <laughs> They're ready to go. They're like, can we hurry this up? <laughs> nice Monster tuna? Yeah. That's more than we need to eat, that's for sure. We will see y'all back at the Fish Intimidator Lodge where we're going to lay down some amazing food. We might not have captured the best footage because of the wind and the rain and the rough seas, but I guarantee you, me and old stale cracker are going to lay down some good food. All right, y'all, we're back at the Fish Intimidator Lodge. Look who's right behind us, Mr. Ron Price. Woo! Hey. For all y'all that watch deer meat for dinner, you've seen him once or twice because this is where Robert comes when he comes to Venice, Louisiana. And this is where we come too. We got a nice wahoo and a nice tuna. Now, Justin here, stale cracker, has a big uh, TikTok page like we already said. So I'm going to actually let him clean the wahoo on his TikTok and I'm going to clean the tuna. But we're eating both of them right here on Blue Game. All you do is come right behind his shoulder. Have you a good knife. I like using my nine inch Danko. As soon as we caught this fish, we put it on ice immediately. And not just sprinkled ice, we really stacked the ice on top of him. Now right here on his lateral line, I'm yelling because it's blowing like 30, it's been raining, it was a terrible ride in. But thankfully, the fish intimidator has an amazing lodge, and that's where we'll be for the rest of the video. Cut right down this lateral line, just like so. That play will literally just fall right off. Hey, watch this. Y'all want to see something funny? I say we put this on a cracker. Look at that. Put that on a cracker, dude. That's money. Mm -hmm. That's good. The first time I saw him on TikTok, I said, dude, I got to be, I got to hang out with that dude. Just his personality, the way he can straight face talk to a camera is priceless. Look at that. We will see y'all back in that lodge where it's warm because Kelly's filming right now and she is for a reason. <laughs> we got to put the cage and two-step on this, dude. Uh -oh. Wait, I, I saw y'all. Yeah, Wait, he's right. my friend on uh, TikTok. Yeah. 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 Hold on, I wanted to tell you about yourself on one of them videos. What I did? I did something bad? With the crawfish? In the pot? Yeah. Do it, my underarms on fire. Mm -hmm. Everything else was good, I promise. Mm -hmm. My underarms, mm -hmm. you ain't fooling her. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to meet him one day. You thought so? No, I, I knew it. Did. Cause I was We're like, having hey, a serious Texas, conversation right, right here, you right from now. Texas? No. Kentucky? Thibodeau. Thibodeau. Wait, what up? It sounds sound like it. Why do you think I sound like I'm from Texas? Cause I thought you said you from Texas. I'm like, what He's actually from, from New Texas? York. He just claimed. He, that's all on that. New York City. Hold up. Hey, you ain't kind of this girl. No, I thought I everybody. You guys, that right there. Yeah. Typically, I, I would hand this to somebody, know. especially yeah. the captain, but not right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Gotcha. Good. Why are you looking at me? No, I'm not going to be the You're next victim. You're up next. Oh. Oh. Get it, Mom. I'll take my virginity. Wait, Mom. My Rami virginity. Yeah. What? She said her raw meat virginity. <laughs> Look, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Uh, she never had raw fish? Uh, she eats sushi, but I don't know. Yeah, but it's cold. Hey, on. you can do it. I believe in you. You can Nana. do it. Nana. 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 That's money, dude. <laughs> and that's where the money resides. <laughs> I'm in here trying to make a nice platter to come present to all y'all, and we yeah, just got, you got bombarded. Film everybody in here real quick. Everybody in here. A great time. This is awesome. Fish intimidator cook. Reba, what you fixing to do? Uh, hey, Karen, eat Karen, that meat. Karen, eat that Ooh. meat. Ooh. <laughs> all right, it's messy now. Yes, sir. Just that open up. She said. Mm, all right, mm, we got mm, mm. Uh -uh. my last date. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> two seconds, two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Reba, you caught that one? I mean, Karen. Karen, you caught that one? Hey, that's what This dude. used to be a family channel, but this episode you can edit a lot. Welcome to the book, baby. Just to get a little bit of tuna. Y'all, that looks so good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm digging in. Bailey's like, yeah, I'm the only one out I'm here. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. They can sit in there and yeah, laugh and watch everybody you cook. Let me you two eat. I don't even know why they're still in the kitchen. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is a big piece. Mm. You gotta say something besides mmm. Like flavor, it's texture. Hard to win that when it's that good. Mm. <laughs> Timmy, you eat sushi? Oh, you got him. Doctor him up a piece, Kel. Yeah, make it right. I did not even think that catfish had never ate raw fish before. He's about to. Doctor him up a good piece with avocado and soy and wasabi. Hmm? Yeah. We checking the rice out, huh? We gotta make sure the rice is. You check the rice? Oh, shit. I'll... You put your foot in your own mouth. What you got? A little bit of that green? Just put it all in there and try it in one bite. Trust me. You'll... Do you put wasabi on it? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Go ahead. Wasabi like it on the nose. Pretty good. It is good. Yeah. I wouldn't, there. I wouldn't feed you something that ain't. You never had. What are you doing over there? Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Price, yes, what's sir. the story with the mega giant alligator back there? Oh, he's not How that, long was he? He's not that giant. He just shy 12 foot. <laughs> mm. 850 pounds. Are we going to feed some out back tomorrow? Okay. If they didn't go to sleep again. Mm. You guys, we're going to enjoy this camaraderie. We got new friends. What's your name? Rosnay. Rosnay? That's a beautiful name. What's yours again? I'm Reva. But Reva. you call me Karen. Karen. A minute ago you were Karen. Yeah. That's me. Robin. That's Anthony. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, My Boston video, the foraging video, remember the really loud guy in the kitchen? That's him right back there. You guys, last night got a little bit crazy, but now it's quiet in here. We just got in from fishing, and I want to end this video. The Fish Intimidator Lodge, Ron Price, and all his guides are so far and above five stars, it's not even funny. This place is amazing. If you have a big group and you want to come do like a business meeting, they have this huge lodge, big back porch, huge lake full of alligators and ducks, two big lodges that sleeps like 20. Check that huge alligator out though. That thing is mega big. Pool tables, this little game, whatever you call it, literally it's hard. Kelly and I played last night for a while. They've got a big bar, a beautiful kitchen, beautiful bathrooms. The cabins that we stayed in are second to none. Very, very comfortable. Washers, dryers, cooks, people that clean up after you. So a lot of people have questions about this place not being on the water. In my opinion, even when I go down to the Keys, I don't care if the house is on the water because I trailer my boats. The guides pick you up right here in the morning, 6.30. Right after you get done eating amazing breakfast, you go off fishing. The reason they don't want to be on the water is the fish might be north, the fish might be south, east or west, and they can go to those boat ramps and save you guys a long run. So when you're done fishing, they pull up right here. They've got a beautiful area to take pictures, ice machines. They've got guys that clean all your fish, bag them up. As you come in here, relax, eat, 
enjoy your evening and you don't have to do any of the stressful stuff but right now it's time to end this video kelly and i have had an amazing time timmy the stale cracker dude i'm so glad you guys got to see him on my channel i've been wanting to meet him forever awesome dude right now though we're headed back to stewart florida because we got to spend some time with the boys then repack and head to puerto rico that's right you guys we're coming to puerto rico on march 10th Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing to my channel and Kelly Young's channel. If you don't know that she has a channel, she also has an amazing YouTube channel. So check it out. Right now, though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.